I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I love you, Deep Rock Galactic. And I really love this last season that just came out, the fifth season, named Drilling Deeper. I've recently gotten that DRG itch again. I've been playing it, having a lot of fun with my friends, and overall, I've just been feeling really positive about Deep Rock Galactic. I've also been playing more of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, which is actually shaping up to be pretty fun, and there's a lot of updates there that a pretty worthy Vampire Survivors clone. Now, the last time I talked about Deep Rock was about nine months ago when they announced that they were delaying the season, and also announcing a new title, Rogue Core, and there's a whole lot of drama with that. But of course, the release of Season 5 was long away waited by the community. There was definitely some pretty big expectations for the season and I think they did a pretty good job loading this season up with new features and new content. We've got a whole new mission, Deep Scan, which requires you to use a rangefinder to find these crystals and then you go down a cool little drill evader and that sequence is pretty epic. Can't lie, it's pretty epic. I'm pretty ass at this mission objective. I don't know what about it, but the caves can be really twisty, turny, and I get lost really easily, especially on the higher complexity caves, but I always enjoy new missions getting added. The Core Stone is a new season event. This is actually a teaser for the Rogue Core storyline and overall vibe of Rogue Core. You open up this weird purple rock and these creepy little guys come out there's these cool looking portals it looks a lot different while still fitting into the art style these guys are fucking freaky they're fast they're mobile their blood is corrosive for some reason this is a really good way to get people interested in rogue core because if these are the kinds of enemies that are going to be in that game i think people are going to be really excited but those aren't the only new enemies there's a new clifford stalker which is a typical clifford but he's invisible and if he actually hits you you get your shield to for like 20 seconds which is actually really brutal on higher difficulties there's the scale bramble which not the hardest thing to deal with but it does add an interesting piece to the puzzle when clearing a room you have to kill these little globules and then hit the main bramble part or whatever and the barrage infector is a new take on the spitballer guy who shoots a shotgun that will like vomit on you he's he does a lot of damage. They also added Hazard 5 Plus. I haven't really played this. I don't typically go on Hazard 5 unless I'm joining the lobby or I'm doing deep dives, but I think that's a cool option for people to have. 12 new overclocks, one for each primary weapon. There's new secondary objectives, new deep dive secondary objectives, new warnings, new anomalies. There's just a lot of stuff this season. It's pretty crazy. It was really fun to go through this and see how much stuff came out with the new season. There's a new feature within the season terminal that I really like. It lets you actually reactivate any season you want and also progress that season's pass. This lets you choose what events you want to see in your missions and also earn old stuff that you maybe never got. For PvE games with seasonal content, this should be a standard because it adds a lot of flexibility for how people want to play their game. It's really sick and it's it's really consumer friendly. There's also new dance moves. Yeah, boy. New cosmetics, skin tones, promotion tiers, just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So they definitely use that year gap really well. There were actually smaller updates in between my last video and this one. I added small stuff here and there, but it's really obvious that they really made use of that large time span to add on to Deep Rock Galactic. Looking at their living roadmap that they posted back in October, it's looking like they're going to keep adding seasons to Deep Rock Galactic at maybe a yearly pace. Obviously, with working on releasing Rogue Core Early Access in November, they have to adjust their priorities while still working on things that they want to. I really love this game because it has really great staying power in its gameplay alone, and whatever they decide to add, whether it be new missions, new caves, new enemies, it's generally really welcomed by the community, and it's obvious that there's a lot of passion from both the devs and the players. I recently got all my classes to their silver promotion and I just genuinely love this game a lot. 
in terms of like four player co-op pve shooters this is probably one of my favorites honestly i can see this game sticking around for a while even if they do slow down on updating and of course it's really dope to see them branching out their universe into the vampire survivors game into the roguelike game that's coming out and the fact that they keep all their products really consumer friendly is honestly really nice you know all the game's content is free dlcs are cosmetic battle passes are reactivatable and available whenever you want i'm sure they get to keep this model by keeping their studio scope relatively small of course with the other games you know they're probably reusing assets animations models not that that the whole game is a reuse of their previous work but keeping it in universe definitely reigns back production costs and other com really complicated things when it comes to game development you know yakuza does this while they're not the most consumer friendly seeing the pricing of that last game they do actually pump out a lot of games so it's something i definitely want to see within the industry more often and i've been actually seeing some positive sentiment towards that kind of asset reuse of course when it's justified and done in a obviously good way it's a positive thing other than like you know call of duty modern warfare 3 just being like literally the same exact game two years in a row but yeah i just want to talk about how much i love this game been playing it a decent amount recently i got some other bigger projects that i've been kind of procrastinating on but i will get to them eventually anyways i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment and have a good day see you